What's happening, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am Stephen Cook. Don't forget the Wolf Watch. And we are here to talk about the huge dino shit amount of shit from dinosaurs that is Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Yeah. The second installment of not really the reboot, but kind of the reboot of the Jurassic World series. Technically the fifth movie. Technically the fifth movie. And in my opinion, the worst one easily. Juan's opinion as well. The worst one easily of the bunch. What a huge piece of. Dino Worst shit. movie I've seen since The Mummy. Listen, if you like Green Lantern, you'll love this fucking movie. I don't know. Green Lantern was... I if you know. like Transformers The Last Night, you'll love this movie. I like Transformers Last Night more. If you are Batsy, you'll love this movie. He likes everything, though. Yes. This movie was such a huge piece of fucking dino shit. I, I've said that three times now because that's just what it is. It is... It is... He is in. It's not hyperbole. It is. It is as bad as he's saying it is. I was really disappointed. I felt I wasted my money for the first time in a long time. I wasted my time. Yeah. It is awful. It is really, really bad. So bad. And and uh, we should have went to go see Incredibles too first. Of yeah. All. Um, I was looking forward to it. You know, first let's say what's good about the movie before we just fucking take a squat on it. Was the it- first ten minutes. The first ten minutes was great. I I was like, if this is the movie we're in it for, it was sus- suspenseful. Yeah, it was it was tense. I was like, holy shit, you know. The dinosaurs looked terrifying. Yeah, everything just looked fucking great. Sure. Uh, the uh, the volcano explosion and the the island. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Getting way, covered. Spoilers filled with fucking spoilers. Yeah. Like if you don't if you haven't seen it and you want to see it, stop watching. The island covered in molten lava. That was really a cool effect and yeah. it looked good. Everything looked great. Yeah. It looked great. Yeah. Even the dinosaur stampede was. I mean, it was. Although listen, listen, listen. Let's be real. The motherfucker should have died. No, no, absolutely. Like, like there's, 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 there's yeah. shit flying. Like it, w- it wasn't a good representation of. No, like, no, it, you know, it was, it's completely. It was a very Michael Bay volcano explosion. Yeah, but looked great. Yeah, but it looked really good. That's it. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna echo everything you said. I'm also gonna say all the dinosaurs looked great. They looked good. They all really did. All the dinosaurs look great. looked fucking amazing. Yeah, they really did. And they actually merged practical effects with CG as well. Um, so it it, it, it wasn't it, it wasn't uh, all fake. Uh, but great, the dinosaurs was great. Mm. Um, now what was bad? Everything else. Everything else. Everything else. I I agree. Um, first, and, and what's really sad is I'm including Chris Pratt in in bad like. Yeah, he that might surprise a lot of people. I don't think I've ever seen anything with Chris Pratt where he's been bad in it. He he, he was just collecting a paycheck. Yeah, he, he, like, it's like he wasn't happy to be there. You start with like Parks and Rec. Great. You know, you go into the Marvel stuff. Great. Some, you know, he's been fantastic. He's Jurassic always World. yeah, Jurassic World. He's always charming, always charismatic. Yeah. He was awful. Yeah. He was collecting a paycheck. Yeah. Supporting. All he did was smirk oh. the whole movie. Just the whole movie, like give a little gaze. Yeah. Whole movie. Awful. Yeah. Supporting cast was horrible. Horrible. Every single one of them. Horrible. The character and character development was horrible. There was none. Was- um the the old man fucking Rambo that they hired, which was yeah, the he was he was he was yeah. why like he's seventy? Why would yeah. you know uh, the, the the teenage kids or the the, the right. college kids that were going with them on the island right. to help them? I guess the comedic yeah. relief guy he was just garbage and he wasn't hell. funny. At and all. Was not funny. Not funny. And you know it's crazy because you compare it to the first to the first movie, right? Yeah. And the characters in the first one they're all charismatic except the kids, which were pieces of shit. Yeah, yeah. Right, but everyone else you had the Dino Heart Sore Hunter, the guy with the Velociraptors, be like, oh, yeah. you're Clever girl, yeah, yeah, right. The computer hacker. Uh, Actually, I like the kids. Newman. Yeah, but I like the, okay, the kids. Okay, sure. Jurassic Park. Newman was great. Yeah. Samuel L. Jackson, like yeah, everyone, everyone was great. Everyone was great yeah. Right. Yeah. This one, it, everyone was terrible. Yeah. No one was charismatic. Yep. Everyone was wooden. Hot garbage. Even, even you know what? Even the whole speech from Doctor Ian in the beginning and end of the movie did just, not make any yeah. sense whatsoever. Just, just to put it in there to be yeah. like, hey guys, th- this movie was filled with so much fan service throwback, as you would say, member berries. Like yeah. it was all about, hey, let's put in shit that you fucking remember. Like For here's sure. Doctor Ian Malcolm. Yeah, here's Done. Jeff Goldblum, you know? guys. Oh look, there's the upside down Jeep Cherokee from Jurassic Park yeah. One that they found. Oh. Right. oh 
oh, uh, like, like, just oh, uh, oh, let's shut down the computer system and we have to reboot it up again. You hack everything. You know, oh, a kid gets into a little area and has to close the thing, just like in the first one. Right. Oh, there, there's a scene where like there's a, a dinosaur bone raptor and then the actual raptor comes in front of it, just like in the original movie when yeah. there's the drawing of the raptor and the raptor comes in front of it. So much even in, in even like movie. the T Rex saving them, but this happened in the beginning of the movie as opposed to the end. Yes. Yeah, and then like the howl, like, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, the fan service was excessive and horrible, but that wasn't even the worst part. Like I'm okay with fan service when done right, but it just felt, it felt raw. It didn't feel, it didn't feel good. It felt like a like a piece of dino shit. Yeah, I think yeah. you know to, to to because we can talk so much shit about the movie is we can talk about our top three worst things about the movie. Oh my god, that's hard. No, I, yeah, it's pretty hard. But there were three because there were so many bad things. Yeah, but to me, there's there's at least a couple of things that were were way more egregious than everything else. Okay, let's trade off. You go first. All right. To me, one of the worst things in the movie was Blue crying. Ah, oh, agreed. Agreed. If you guys don't know, Blue got shot by a gun, and like they're like, "Oh my God, Blue's not gonna make it." If you don't know who Blue is, he's the fucking raptor. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and and uh, the veterinarian chick who we didn't talk about was fucking horrible. Tried way too hard to be cool and tough. Yeah. You know. Uh, and and uh, you know he's like on the operating table, and he sheds a tear. He sheds a tear. One one tear. Doesn't cry. Sheds one single tear. Yeah. Go. The dino auction with the villain, like basically every type of stereotypical bad guy that you could possibly think of in movies and in the world was in this. Whether it is the yeah. mafia Russian guy, which they focus on a lot, twenty million, twenty million dollars <laughs> on, so the, on, the, on this dinosaur, yeah. or or or, or you know, just any, any type the auctioneer of, with a toupee with a hair like yeah, the in the wind. I love the guy that played that played the auctioneer. He was he was Doctor Faustus or whatever mm. his name is in Captain America. Yeah. Winter Soldier, you know, uh, and he was also in uh, First Avenger. Um, uh, but it just the auction scene was auctioning the dinosaurs to to gangsters and and world terrorist groups was just, oh yeah, god awful in in the, in in the woods of San Francisco at that too. Mm -hmm. So, ladies and gentlemen, they got all these dinosaurs from an island off of Costa Rica through U.S. Customs into Northern California, into Northern California, California in a mansion, auctioned in the basement of a mansion, in a basement that was built unbeknownst to the owner no. of the mansion, who was an old dying guy, and 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 they auctioned off all these people. No. All right. Uh, yeah, dinosaurs. The, 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 okay, number two thing I hated. The plot of the movie was the same as the first movie. Like, we just want to make a super raptor. And we're going to sell them. Except this like is Jurassic World. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Yeah, well, it's this is a super, super raptor. Well, no, no. The first one was a super T-Rex. Right. Now, this is a super raptor. Yes, yeah. That, and... and I, so and, and I'll tell you the, the thing I hated the most about him is when he's hunting down this little girl and he's hanging upside down from the ceiling and opens the door. Just like in fucking Jurassic Park one, so when the raptor bad. opens up the door. Yeah, but he's like hanging upside down, quietly opens the door because it's like you and know. Why does the raptor even follow the fucking girl? Why? Yeah. You know. Right. So that was number two thing I hated. How about you? Oh my god, number two thing I hated. Probably, like we mentioned earlier, was just so many callbacks to the original Jurassic Park movie. They they spent so much time in this movie just fucking recreating scenes that we loved that made Jurassic Park one amazing. Yeah. And 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 they just ripped off fucking Jurassic Park in Fallen Kingdom. Yeah. My number one thing, the thing I hated the absolute most was. For no particular reason, there's a little girl in this movie, and they reveal 75% of way into the movie that she's a fucking clone for no reason. Yeah. Be like, oh, by the way, this girl's a clone, and then everyone's cool with it. Yeah. Yeah, and they're like, "Oh my God, she's a clone!" And then they just drop it. And yeah, then they drop, and they just keep going. And then she like frees like, all. Yo, you're yeah. the clone. And then she frees all the dinosaurs. Yeah. And then she's like, "They're clones like me." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because they're like, "Oh, we can't release the dinosaurs yeah. into the real world because if we release the dinosaurs in the real world, all of a sudden there's a ton of dinosaurs in the real world, and that's gonna hurt." Right, them. and it's not like as one. If, no. As if, as first of all, there weren't a ton of dinosaurs. There were a lot, but not so many to the point that like if the military got involved, they couldn't kill them all. So whatever, they made it sound like it's Planet of the Apes. Yeah. You you know, when it, it what that wasn't the case at all. So they all were like, "Oh, we're not gonna open the thing and let the dinosaurs." But then the girl lets him out. It was like, yeah. "What the fuck happened?" Yeah. And she goes, "They're alive like me." Yeah, yeah. You except know? little girl, you're not gonna eat fucking thirteen people in one hour. I know. 
Uh, my number one thing is probably the end of the movie. First of all, Dr. Ian McCall- Malcolm, they go back to him and his interview with, with the with the Congress, Congress Senate, and, whatever. And, uh, and and he's like, we are living in a Jurassic world. Uh. Oh, and, and it, it reminded me of, I, I saw that movie, A Perfect Storm, in the theaters a long time ago. Mm. I think your brother was there. And, and the meteorologist was like, look at this, look at this, it's... The perfect storm. That it was like one of those things. It's like we're living in a Jurassic world, and then it like shows like all the dinosaurs like in the world overlooking yeah. neighborhoods, and then the big like water dinosaur in the ocean among surfers and shit like that. So like I guess the third movie will be like dinosaurs and human Which beings is great. coexisting. Now, on I, I think that's that's where it should go, not coexisting, but it'd be cool. It'd be a zombie apocalypse, except be dinosaurs instead of zombies. There's not enough dinosaurs. Yeah, which is true. Which is another problem with that, right? You know? Oh, real quick, honorable mention, the fucking dinosaur with a fucking, with a, with a metal plate on its head hated that whole thing. What are you talking about? I call him, call him Bob, the dinosaur. Are we talking about the one that rammed through the walls? Yeah. No, that was a metal plate. That was a, that's a real dinosaur. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't stand it. That's a real dinosaur. I know, but with, I couldn't, I, the, yeah. The rams and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't stand that thing. Oh, but, okay. I thought it was stupid. Okay. Yeah, they try to make it like a sidekick. Yeah. Yeah, like Blue and him. And Chris Pratt. They're going to go save the universe. Basically, this movie sucked such a big dick. Dinosaur, the t- T-Rex dick. It was just fucking horrible. And here's the sad part, ladies and gentlemen. It made $150 million domestically. And what was it? Over 700? $711 million worldwide. Which is, what, you said number three ever? No, Nine? number three this year. This year. It's It made it one week and a half of what Black Panther did in its entire run worldwide it has made one third of what the avengers did and it did it in one weekend which means we're going to get more of this which means the director and the writer of this movie are going to get accolades and 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 congratulations Ooh, dude, like about chris, them doing a good job chris pratt's going to be able to charge whatever he wants dude how much money has his movies made holy fuck i, he, I mean yeah he, if you count them all he's an a-lister by all means yeah but if you count them all now yeah, 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 no, no, he's gone. Holy from, shit. He, he, yeah, yeah, he's gone from Andy on Parks and Recreation to, yeah. like, Megastar. Yeah. Um, it's just, you know, listen, I, I like dinosaurs, I like the concept. But I love Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park is great. Listen, Lost World is okay, Jurassic Park 3 is okay, Jurassic World is okay. Yeah, Jurassic World is alright. You know, this movie is fucking horrible. Save your money, guys. Horrible. The worst thing I could say about Jurassic World was the girl running around in her heels the whole time. Mm-hmm. You know? That's nothing compared to this. This is such... It's horrible. I'm... I'm, I, I'm and... I don't know. I got I, I, I got no words to say. Yeah, we, we, we left that movie very disappointed. And, and usually we don't talk about movies, but in this one we knew what we were both thinking. Because there were a few times I wanted to walk out. I definitely wanted to leave. That doesn't happen. Not often, and not as many times as I wanted to leave during this movie. I, it, it, it felt it, long, too. It, it felt, felt ex- it was excruciating to sit through it this movie. It reminded me of, of how shitty Green Lantern was and the yeah. Transformer movies. Yeah, I agree. With the exception of the first Transformers movie, which is okay. Agreed. Yeah, and, and uh, so, again, if you love those movies, or if you're related to Batsy by any means, uh, go see it, because you'll love it. Yeah. Um, if, you, if, if, if you value your money. Yeah, and your time. Yeah. Time is big too. It's fifteen dollars, two hours of your life, at least fifteen dollars. Yeah. Like You know what another bad thing is? The 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 climactic scene takes place in Northern California yeah. at a mansion. At a garage actually. In, a, yeah. in the garage of the mansion. Yeah. And of course the place where they're auctioning looks like death. The yeah. walls are black. There's like light. Twenty millions. Lights and everything. Twenty yeah. millions. It's like it's like Frankenstein's evil fucking yeah. lair. Yeah. It's fucking stupid. It's so man. stupid, that fucking movie. Fucking Jurassic World. Fuck you, Universal, for even fucking approving that. Yeah, man. They're, they also did, they're the ones that did the Mummy reboot, man. What the fuck are you doing, Universal? Yeah, way to go on making all the movies. God, Universal, if you fuck with Back to the Future, because I know you own the license, I will fucking... Uh. You should guys should make Back to the Future. <laughs> no. With, like, George Clooney. Just don't touch it. God. That's it, right? <laughs> with Andy Garfield. Is that it? Yeah, I'm done, dude. Andrew I hate Garfield, fucking hate it. Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield. Shut up, dude. I hated that fucking movie so much. Jurassic World, please don't see it, guys. Ah, uh, don't see it. It's got to get a third movie. It is. Oh. And we're going to see it. We are going to see it. And <laughs> we're going to talk about it. There's no way to punish Hollywood. Oh, I know. Fuck. Uh, well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, 
Corker, uh, YouTube.com forward slash Corker Comics, or just search Corker Comics on YouTube.com. Check us out at either of our locations uh, in Miami on 107th and 8th Street or in Pembroke Pines on Pines Boulevard, mm-hmm. just east of University. For Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy, I'm Stephen Corker. No, I'm Roger. Later.